Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to our Anduin Vale campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Com blah, 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 Divide and Conquer. <laughs> I've done so many of these intros, hundreds throughout the years, and I think this is the first one that I actually fumbled up completely. Um, where was I? I'm completely thrown off now. Okay, uh, this could very well be the last episode of the Anduin Vale campaign, or the penultimate one. It's a great way to start it, either way. Um, and before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to the Sam Marsden, not just any Sam Marsden, but the Sam Marsden, because he suggested I rename Kerandros to Berandros, and I love him for it, because that's an amazing name. A pun I wish I had come up with. Right, uh, where were we? I, I kind of lost track of everything. Well, we're clearing a path towards Mount Doom. Look, even the handy arrow is pointing it towards it. Um, for Mr. Fulcred, who's all the way back here, that's the yes, only reason why I have doubts that we'll reach the end of the campaign in this episode, because he still has a long way to walk and he's pretty slow. He's got short legs, apparently. Uh, but we're clearing a path for him. We've already taken Grimbjorn's Gate, Durthang, um, annoying the enemy quite a bit at Bear Andros. Uh, we have armies coming in. We got plenty of troops inbound. That's not the problem. Um, but the problem is, well, just withstanding the AI spam. So, I have a bit of an issue with Lagran of the Neck. I'm like, do I attack him? Do I let him come towards Grimbion's Gate? I've got a pretty solid army here. So I think kill Lagran, push towards Urkestolod, and if I can take Baradur before Fulcred arrives, that would be massive, because then the Nazgul can't respawn, and that will definitely put a hamper on their production of troops as well. I've also been considering yes. moving Bearagrim, towards this side, pushing towards Minas Morgul and Kiridongul, just to really hamper any more troop spam from Mordor. But yeah, the question does remain, do I dare attack this army head on? They've got two units of trolls and Olokai, two units of great beasts, a lot of, like, it's a very good army, a very good army. So I don't know, I'm having some doubts. Maybe it would be better for them to either go towards Grimbion's Gate or to attack me so I can set up defensively. If I put this guy here Honor. and they attack me, I'll be able to put my troops on this slope on the hill. I think that's the yes, best course. Uh, I'd love to also push out against Galabrin, but first I'll have to take Minas Morgul for that. So then I think we're at the end of our turn pretty much, unless I can muster up another army. Oh, actually, I got another army. No Baf, Captain Baf Ara. Baf Ara Ara. But yeah, I've pretty much uh, taken peaks with this campaign. I'm not building anything anymore, I'm not really trading much. Uh, apparently I still have got some troops lined about, so we'll check it now and then. But uh, I'm very much just of a single goal at the moment, which is to plop that one ring into that one volcano and be done with it. And then I'll take a quick divide and conquer break. Probably come back. Um, in May, as I've mentioned before. Still don't know which campaign we'll be playing, but... Ah, perfect. Lagaran is attacking me, so I'll have my battle, but I'll have it with me defending. The reinforcements of Grashur, yeah, they're completely irrelevant. They don't matter one bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a scary fight. It's a hell of a scary fight. But I think with proper positioning, which I should have the train advantage, we should be able to pull off some uh, amazing feats. So let's jump in. Muster your courage, men. Right. Promising start. But I think I can... Ooh. Could I, like, squeeze him right at the top here? No. Actually, I could if I... Ooh. Boys. Look at this. So, if they want to come attack me, I guess... I'm not sure how they could get up here. Can I even put troops here? No, I can't. Ah, you had me so moist and then you just took it away. But I can put them here, right? Yeah, that, that I can. Okay, okay, uh, this will work. I can work with this. I already got some hobbits here. They're scouting the terrain for Fulcrid. <laughs> I got a bunch of Vale archers. But my main priority is going to be my javelins and my ballista. They're the ones that will excel at taking down great beasts. So if I can just plop them down exactly how I want them. No, I can't. Game says no. Game always says no. Alright, but they should be able to fire over the heads of our infantry. Can I put, like, no, nah, I wish I could put troops there. That would help out a lot. Hmm. 
See, I think we need to use like this terrain mostly. That's where I really want to put my infantry for the most part. Like that. Now this seems quite good. I'll put these guys on the flank and put my skin changers somewhat in the middle to motivate them in. Um, can I put them on this side of the ballista? Yes, I can. Although then they'd have to walk a fair bit to uh, assist. So if I can pop them here, yeah, that'll work. I got javelins there, javelins over there. That works. The horses, I think they can actually be quite important as well. Um, so I'll pop them on the wide flank. And then let's see, you got Bjorning Axemen. More Veil Archers. God knows where I'll plonk them down. Gotta make sure you guys are not skirmishing. Make sure you're all chilling, you hold on to your ammo. And then of course my hobbits. I'd love to plop them here. Don't underestimate the hobbits, man. I'll pop them down and then move them once the battle starts. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Yeah, screw those reinforcements. Come on, squeeze in there. You're small. Alright, they're gonna have to take a bit of an... Uh, a moronic approach to this, but... Okay, okay, okay. Great beasts, great beasts. They can completely wipe out my army. I need to be very wary of them. But, if I can get them to rampage, they can really work in my favor. I wish we could get trolls to rampage as well. That would be pretty sick. Game says they're in range, but I don't. Uh, they're not actually in range, are they? I'll just put them on fire. I will. Or is it the angle that's causing me trouble? The angle should be perfectly fine. These guys are already in range, it says, but they're not fighting either. So I'm not sure what's up with all that. Ballista, please stop acting up. If you can fight on the great beast, please do so. Or even on the Olokai. Oh, come on, Ballista. Stop faffing about. Why are they not? It says they're fighting, but they're really not. Is the angle working against me? Is it the hill too steep or something? I oh, know I do have to give manual orders for whatever reason. It's only a handful of units that are fighting as well. Alright, Ballista, you should be able to get some hits in now. Aim for the Olog High. There we go, that works. Just don't hit any hobbits. I love those guys. Skin changers are experts at taking down trolls, so I'll happily use them for that. I think the hobbits are actually quite good at taking down trolls as well. Screw you, trolls! What the hell, Ballista? Oh, you hit something. Almost hit a troll there. I think you hit him because they're bloodied up. Oh, in come the first trolls. Oh, someone already going down. Uh, no, no, hold your fire. Make sure to fight on the back lines as much as you can to avoid friendly fire. Okay. For the veil. Ballista. Keep an eye on the Great Beasts. But the Great Beasts are hella slow, man. They're taking their sweet time to get up here. Temple Wards. That's the Nazgul. You can go ahead and fight at them. Okay. So far, so good. Hold on to those javelins. Fire on the Olokai. Good, good. Okay, that infantry's taking a beating. 2% for 7% is quite good. This army will probably get quite destroyed. Alright, shield batters up against Southland Lancers. You will absolutely destroy them. Alright, get my Eothead Horseman to throw their javelins on the Olokai. And get the Bjorning Axeman against the Olokai as well, that'll work. 
Okay, a couple of hits on temple boards. Uh, no, actually, we missed every shot. <laughs> hmm. But if I can get uh, Great Beasts to Rampage, they could stampede the Nazgul. <laughs> that would be very welcome, but perhaps a bit too ambitious. Now, you guys should probably sell the back. Right, start tickling the Great Beasts. Hold on to those jabbies. Ooh, not bad, not bad, but needs to be better. Needs to be better than that. Okay, the Olakai are taking a beating. Good. But not quite good enough. Oh, come on. How do you keep missing those great beasts, mate? Alright, lads. If you're in range... Don't get too far out of position. They'll come closer. Give them a moment for pity's sake. Guess I'm just a walking Lord of the Rings coat machine. Come on. Oh yeah. No, that's a, not a good chuck. That's a bit. Oh, nice shot, Ballista. Yes, they're running amok. Perfect. <laughs> Where are the other great beasts? They're running amok. Where are the other ones? Hang on a moment, I need to pause. Where are the other ones? How do I misplace? Oh, crap, a doodle do. Okay, uh. Well, my Aeothia Torsman actually annihilated them. For the most part. So that's impressive. <laughs> that is actually very impressive. And they're going after the Temple Wards. Glorious. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you stamp on that Nazgul for me. The Veil sends their regards. Okay. There's Olokaya proving to be an issue, but... We're winning. And we're winning somewhat convincingly, in my opinion. Keep hammering down on them. Uh, okay, they're coming over. Uh-oh. They look very angry. I need you, horses. You've got a couple javelins left. Use them well. 14% for 35%. That's quite good. That's quite good. Throw your javelins on those temple wards. Oh, they're out of ammo. That's not good news. But I still have these guys that are full of javelins. Full of javelins. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. In Gorgoroth, apparently. I need you boys to go destroy those boys, for they are not nice boys. They are bad boys. Bad boys for life, and that life is about to be cut very short. Come on. Come on, come on, don't let me down. Give them a good chuck before they charge my bed, warriors. That would be a real waste of good manpower. Chuck? Chuck? Too late. You done goofed. Why are you not chucking? How long does it take to get in chuck shape? Yeah, that's a lot of good dudes dying. Because of your laziness! Can you fucking throw already? Pardon my French, but it's very deserved. Oh, you absolute idiot! Oh, what the hell just happened? Uh... Did they just suffer a cardiac arrest? What? Okay. Divine intervention! Thank you, Bayon. I mean, that's the only explanation, right? Can we kill that halberdier? They just all suddenly, bloop, fell down. Oh shit, my general. I haven't been paying attention. I thought I'd have an easy time annihilating those trolls. Alright, but this entire right flank has been freed up now. I keep forgetting about my calf. 
It's okay. My general's out. My general's out. It's that furry bastard. Alright, chuck in the temple wards. How is that one halberd guy still alive? Can you just ignore him for me, please? See, man, I love javelins. They can be very powerful, but they're so unreliable. They just do whatever suits them. And that's why I'm really not looking forward to playing a faction like the Anna Dwight. Because they rely on their javelins so much. Alright, we're winning this rather handsomely. Skin changers, be careful. What are you doing? If only I had more ammo left, eh? I'd have an even easier time. They're still running about. Just celebrating. Game on. Kill Kamul. Uh, not Kamul. I'm so used to killing Kamul. Kill Lagaran. Oh, Hobbitses. Beautiful, beautiful Hobbitses. Alright, can you actually throw for once? I feel like you've just been screwing up. Well, they took out the Green Beast, so... And then they dry throw like that. Like, well, at least Lagaran's dead. But still, that could have been... It could have been much easier. It should have been much easier. But the morale should be completely fried now. Yep. So now I can prioritize everything on the reinforcements. And they should go down rather easily. Okay. I should be able to just flank them, and they don't have a Nazgul leading them, so their morale is going to be quite trash. Um, oh, help them out. Okay. So, if I win this, the road to Ur Well, I'm about to win this. When I win this, the road to Urgesta should be pretty wide open. Alright, my friend. Sorry about that quick jump cut. For you about... Half a second will have passed. For me, about two hours have passed. <laughs> as my parents, out of the blue, asked me to join them for dinner. So after completely demolishing half a chicken, and some french fries, of course, I am Belgian after all, I am now back to continue our conquest. You will have to forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty, because, as I said, I'm just jumping into this battle after being out for two hours. But I think, yeah, we're winning this rather convincingly. We crushed the Nazgul. And we were just dealing with that reinforcement stack, so it's mostly a matter of making sure... Ooh, nice shots there. Good job, past Izzy. Uh, just um, to make sure they route, really, because... I don't expect much in terms of them... Yeah, the morale is going to be quite trash without an Nazgul to lead them. If it's just the captain stack, the Mordor morale is quite atrocious. So if I just surround them, for example, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, you guys flank around. I'll send in some calf to chase them down. Oh, that's a big chunk of oh, 185 units. I need to get rid of them. Give them a charge. Hobbitsers. Alright, chuck those javelinos. Just chuck them in whatever direction, mate. If we don't fight, I will. One guy through. That was literally the last javelin you had left. Are you kidding me? The river guides us. There's no river anywhere near. But still it guides us. Isn't that just beautiful? Alright. Ballista well, doing some a little bit of friendly fire. Just a just a hint of friendly fire. To spice up your life. Alright, yeah, big routes, boys. It's gonna be a bit of a problem to make sure we catch all of them. Struggling a bit with that. We ride with Juan. Right. Those guys are gone. Chase them down, please. I've actually used this much of the store share of rocks, and I think that's the most I've ever used in one battle. But I think the friendly fire is becoming a bit risky now. Uh, stop fighting and go in belly. Alright, the bad warriors coming in. Oh no, we lost the, the units. I think most of them are routing, if not all of them. 
who's still standing? I don't see anyone still standing. Catch them, please. The very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Who is still fighting? Fighting to the death? Is it just that one unit fighting to the death? I no, just deal with them. Behold how our there we go, lads. 34% for 78. We need to rack up those kills a bit more. So if the calf can just uh, finish them off for me, that would be wonderful. Huge chunks of prisoners. Come on, boys. There we go. Don't let them get out. I want all of them in custody. Let them face trial. Where would the international cause of criminal justice be in the Middle Earth? I probably like a Mardis or something. The The Hague of Middle Earth. Yeah, 89%. Damn, we are definitely picked up some there. I mostly hope that the main army is dead, the one with Lagaran, but I think it will be, I mean. Those guys fought till the bitter end. But I'm just gonna clean up these like 70 something black hooks just to be on the safe side. Because we're right there, might as well. Yeah, there we go. 1.2k prisoners. Glorious! It's rounded off there. Healed a decent chunk. Yeah, I think both armies are gone. That is a heroic win if I've ever seen one. Look at that. How many kills did the hobbits get? 175? Oh, and they didn't level up. What? What? How? Like, these hobbits are just meant to be like killing machines and like 175 was just a slow Tuesday? What? Crazy. But a fine result either way. Alright. Goodbye. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, God damn it! Leave me alone. Leave me alone! I'm gonna get a restraining order against Sauron. The man just doesn't leave me alone! We are besieged. <sighs> so many orcs, man. So many orcs. They just keep popping up. How do they breed? Because it must be wild. Alright, either way. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, I'm used to that sound. Volgrid! Yes. Conqueror of Bairig. Is that the All most right. creative tile you can come up yes, with? Alright, let's take Urk Estolad. It used to be like always a shitty castle or a shitty stronghold place. But now that orcs can actually build up their defenses, it's a wee bit more of a cool settlement. But either way, I think if we take that. Uh, well, Durthang and Grimion's Gate will still border enemy territory because we've got the Plains of Rodruin over here, and this one borders Minas Morgul somewhat, you know, kind of does. Um, but still, it's going to be quite important for us to take our guest Oh, they don't get any extra defenders? Okay. But they do get some Olokai, so out of all the units they could have had, that's the most badass. But, uh, well, with the help of the Ballista, I don't foresee too much trouble. Quite an important settlement to take. Oh, that's Kamul again. Um, yeah, no, that's quite an important battle. Will definitely slow down the enemy, and if I can then take Minas Morgul and Kiridongul as well on top of that, that should really put a hamper on things. All right, another step closer towards uh, making sure that the road to Mount Doom is completely free of enemies. We attack! Look at that! Look at that place! Damn, does that actually have like ballista towers? Are you kidding me? I find that a wee bit silly, to be honest with you. Like, we went from orcs not being able to do anything, only getting, like, the shitty encampment to having them get ballista towers. That's obscene, mate. No, oh, whatever. No point in me complaining about it, but trust me, I'm fuming. They got all a guy on a gate. Oh, God, now oh, I've seen everything. Uh, let's just let them pull back for a moment. Stop. Let them pull back, and then we can get real close up in there. I love how they fall over just from walking against the Olokai. Well, you guys need to get the hell out of there as well. No, don't do that bullshit where you're just running around. I hate the AI sometimes. Don't tell me this guy's gonna screw me over. They want to pull back to the town square, but this guy is stuck. So now they'll stay close and probably trigger the... Goddamn towers. Wait, let's double check. Do they trigger the towers? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Then let's get real close up in there. 
just to make sure that we use our ammo as efficiently as possible. You cannot miss this. My grandma is like 93 and she can hit this. The gate, I mean. She can hit the gate. That's what I'm trying to say. God damn it. Alright, there we go. Halfway done. Good, good. No shots missed so far. Maybe we can even take down one or two of the towers. Oh, yeah, there we go. They're active now. Yeah, no, they're the super tanky towers. Pull back. Pull back. So that's unfortunate. Because we're going to have to, like, fight under Ballista Towers, which is not fun whatsoever. So let's see. Get some Veil Archers in here to distract them. And then I'm going to have to send in the just the infantry, the tanky boys, and just go ham on the Uruk Bodyguard. We're going to suffer some casualties. But the good thing is, when we take this place, we'll have the Ballista Towers to use ourselves, so... But let them, like, fire on the Veil Archers. I'm sorry to tell you lads, but you're a bit of a throwaway unit. But you're quite good for a throwaway unit. Oh, never mind, they're fighting in all directions. Because God knows no mercy. And let's get some Javelin Bros, just so we can kill the Olokai. Look at those towers, man. They just fire incredibly fast. Gosh, that... Oh god, they're going after my skin changers like crazy. Don't let the Olakai push in here. Come on, make sure they die fast, please. Oh, this is painful, man. I'm not sure what Dak has with Ballista Towers. No other mod has that broken Ballista... Oh god, the Olakai here. I'm gonna lose my general at this point. Okay, get the hell out of there. Kill the general. Just surround the Olokai, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna lose so many dudes because of this stupid ballista bullshit. Sending in my general against Olokai at this point. The one Olokai just run up to the What the hell are you doing here, mate? Can you kill that one guy? No. The best way to kill the Olakai is just to, like, put massive amounts of troops around him. Ah, oh, so painful. No, don't tell me this guy is just gonna, like, trigger towers from all the way over there. Oh my god, this is so broken! Stop getting on the walls! That's illegal! I'm gonna drag you before him louder, mate. Oh god, so many guys dying. At least the towers stop fighting. This There's just some weird balancing. Like, these towers take barely any damage. I, I don't know. You all know my opinion on ballistic towers, but, like, some of these towers are bonkers. And then sometimes they're not that good. Either way, I'll sleep easy knowing these ballistic towers are now in my control. Imagine if this settlement had anything more than just those two units. This would have been impossible to take. Gosh, Dan. All right. Well, we won. We've taken a settlement. That's what matters. Yeah, screw you, mate. Wait, Captain? Did my general die after all? What? Ha the day is ours. I didn't get a message, right? Ah, oh, gosh, Dan and Ellis. Ah, oh, we'll exterminate them then. Exterminate and build a military garrison. And repair the gate. I'm not sure how he died, but eh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I'm beyond caring about couple dudes dying. Yes. Alright, ignore Lord, them my Lord. and go straight towards Minas Morgul. Do I want to send both armies towards Minas Morgul, yes, Kiridongo? I think I do, actually. Because we have... Well, yes. Fulcrit has an army of his own and we got reinforcements coming in with Captain Barf. Now that'll be fine. Um, let's just triple check. But any troops I get now will come, like, behind Fulcrit, so... Less useful, but might still send them in as extra reinforcements. Might as well. Like these bad warriors, you know. They're quite helpful, I assume. Right. 
If I can withstand these sieges... I can't imagine them pulling out more... Uh, I keep saying that and it keeps happening anyway. Let's just press the end turn. Let's get through these turns. They're gonna keep attacking me, but they can only besiege me once every turn, right? They need time to build up material. They don't really have catapults or ballistae, so... Every turn that passes, Fulcrid is one step closer. So it's pretty much just turned into like a wave defense game where I just need to withstand Mordor turn after turn. But every turn we survive, and with survive I mean slightly more than survive, every turn we withstand the Mordor onslaught, Fulcrid gets closer. Oh yeah, please, please try. My Lord, where be oh, they didn't even attack me this time. So that's uh, some free movement for Fulcrid. Still besieging me on all fronts, but that's fine, that's fine. I'm using their towers against them, so not a problem. But yeah, you kind of reach that idiotic scenario. Oh, nice. Uh, so that's the Doomstack of Gondor. You kind of reach that idiotic scenario where Irk Estolat, literally just Orc Encampment, is a better fortified and easier to defend settlement than Durthang or the frigging Black Gate. Doesn't make sense to me, but... Okay. That might just be me, though. And with that, I mean, it's definitely not me. <laughs> it's just a weird... I get it. Custom maps are harder to, like, get working properly, but it still feels weird. Actually, I can swap Marwini out for Captain Bafara. And maybe give Fulcred an extra Ballista in a bit. Or an extra Cav. Or I'll give him the Silver March Warden, why not? He could use some extra firepower. Okay, um, so you're kind of stuck here. I could move you towards Grimbion's gate, actually. Have you defeat Captain Lungash, and then use you to push towards towards Baradur, possibly. Wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Or I wait and have Lungash try to attack Grimbion's gate, fail miserably, and die. But this time it's quite powerful. And this is just a captain. I've got Bjorning Axeman for days. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Uh, but I don't want you to join, actually. I want to take this fight all by myself. I got this, bro. Oh, that's a lot of temple units, actually. Huh. Wasn't prepared for that. But the rest of the army is really trashy. His captain is an orc host, like, I'll kill him easily, the rest will rout. Temple dudes, they'll fight till the bitter end, but that's where the siege equipment comes in. I've already seen if I'm gonna save again, because I'm feeling insecure. Ah, oh. Alright, quite an important battle, because if we win this, then Beragrim can push through, and he could possibly go all the way towards Baradur. Master your courage, men. Okay, oh, cool music. And it seems we have the high ground. Oh, we definitely have the high ground. Poor sod. Oh, I fought here before, actually. Hmm, I actually like this more. A little bit more. Eh, I don't know. If I could plop him up here, that'd be nice, but... See, because here we're, like, right behind the hill. Whereas if I go here, it's a bit more of a gentle hill. We still have the slope working for us. Hmm. What about over here? I could put my troops down and push a bit further. This music is hella loud though. I love it, but it's hella loud. Oh, this time it actually doesn't have that many. It only has two units of archers, damn. I thought we had more than that. That was a lot of infantry though. Uh, let's see. It's got a lot of yawning axemen, which is good. That's good. That really is a lot of Bionic Axemen. That's good, good, good. We can flank with them, they cause fear. They're good, powerful troops. Okay. Start the battle. Push a wee bit further just so we have that good high ground positioning. Like that. That's exactly what I want. Uh, horses, fuck, I forgot to move you. Actually, you could go quite 
wide. Okay. Uh, you guys. No, you're good. Oh, they're returning fire, those assholes. They do have temple marksmen, mind you, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not ideal. So if we can shoot them, that would be much appreciated. Because they will annihilate me. Make no mistake on that. Those pricks are using steel bows. So then I'm a piercing. They're pretty much on par with Dunedain steel bowmen. They might be even slightly better, who knows. But, you might have steel bows, but I have big rock on fire. It misses, but it's a warning shot. Cross me again, and it'll hit. For real this time. Ah! How do you miss every shot, mate? Do you, like, do you just dislike me? Is that what's going on here? Oh, come on. Catapult! What are you doing? Why do I sound more like Arnold Schwarzenegger with each episode? Ah, this dumb catapult won't hit the target! I don't know what that was, and I will not apologize for it. You can sue me. Please don't sue me. I just want to bring you good content. I'm sorry I can't provide. Walking catapult, mate. Yeah, I'm going to sue this catapult. This catapult is a piece of trash. Uh, we've got massive amounts of infantry, so let us frigging use them. Mama didn't raise no coward. She did raise an idiot, though. Come on, boys. That's hardly my mama's fault, though. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Woodsman. Oh, catapult! Please, is it the angle? Like, oh, that was a good shot. No, get back on the catapult or the ballista. Sorry. All right, we got these guys up against temple wars. That's perfect. Because, yeah, they are well armored, but we have armor piercing, so your armor does not matter, mate. I feel like there's going to be a lot of friendly fire in a few seconds. Okay, okay. It could be looking better, but it could be looking worse. As soon as we start surrounding them, it's going to go much smoother. It's just those temple units, they really are. But this is the doom stack, right? So. It's not like they'll magically reappear. But yeah, those temple wards, they're a pain. There better not be a ton of friendly fire. That was pretty accurate, actually. I appreciate that. No, yeah, okay, no, they're, they're not doing too much friendly fire. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. If only I could get that captain killed, that will help. Oh, why are you guys pushing through so hard? Decent shots, but also a lot of friendly fire. My Bjorn experiment broke because they're pushing way too deep. I'm not sure what they were doing over there. Oh, this temple was ridiculous and powerful. Oh, come on, stop it with the friendly fire, you absolute idiot. I might lose this fight at this rate. Right, my cab is freed up now. But those temple wars just don't die. My cab is kind of stuck between the Black Oak Arches. It's a big cluster of enemies there. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. That's okay, I'm a chewy boy. I just, I always underestimate the temple units. So I'm like, okay, they're powerful, but if I just send an armor piercing boys, we should be fine. Also, I, oh, this guy's stuck. Can he die, please? Thank you. That guy blew my charge because of him being alive. <laughs> I know, I know, it sounds weird, but I, you'll have to trust me. 
this morale is becoming a real problem. Yep, yeah, now we go. There we go. There we go. That is a route. That is a route. The tide is turning, my friends. Slowly but surely. But these temple look, they're surrounded by armor piercing units. Which are supposed to be their kryptonite, and they're just not dying. So that's really, really bad. No, no, no. Don't charge a temple. Even a temple marks would beat me in melee. Nobody else is the problem. It's just those temple units. Ridiculous. Alright, cab. You know what to do. It's a huge chunk of enemies there. But I can't properly charge them. Gosh. Not even this flank is looking good at this point. I still have reinforcements, but I'm not sure if I want to commit them, because they're my... They're the army from Grimbion's Gate. I might have just screwed myself here. Really thought I'd be doing better. Come on, proper charge, please. That is uh, semi-decent charge. There's always like one guy getting stuck in the back, which makes the charge ineffective. Alright, I will. Just go for the big Chungus hits. It's fine. It's fine if you call some friendly fire. Now, I'm not going to use those guys. I will not use them. Although maybe I should use them. But I'll just wait until the battle's almost over and then I'll just... Like, I don't know. Corner camp them? Only half the enemy force remains. See, I don't know. We're not doing bad. It's just they got those couple of really good units. That's just going to be a real pain to take down. But maybe with enough, like, hammer and anvil, I can take them out. But yeah, it's the temple units, man. Temple units always cause me grief. And they must die eventually, but... Oh, crap. Stop that black uruk halberd unit, or it's gonna screw over my catapult. Stop them! It all comes down to my horsies. Oh, no. That side collapsed. They're gone. Not even my general can take down Temple Walls, it seems. Donculus. Rebonculus, I tell you. Not even the Orc host is routing at this point. That's quite pathetic. Come on, give them a charge. That might actually break them. Yep, there we go. Good. I'm sorry, but these temple units are ridiculous. I love how I keep getting surprised by that, but it happens every battle I fight them. Every time I'm like, these temple units are. Gosh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm out of troops pretty much. Crap, man. That was a, a big L on my part. Apologies. I really grossly underestimated the enemy there. And overestimated my own strength more so than anything else. Okay. Just take down as many as you can, step by step. In Cav we trust. But skin changers getting beat on by temple wards feels strange. That's not what I expected at all. My reinforcements are broken, they can't get in. Is it because of them blocking the path or is it just that they're broken? I think it's because they're just broken. Battle oh no, that's good, that's fight. good. Let him run. He might actually, like, make it out then. We might still use him. That doesn't happen to be the general by any chance. Ah. Bah. This does not feel very okie dokie. Ah, we'll need to, like salvage as much as we can. We're killing more of them than they're killing of us, but those temple units are not gonna die. Whenever they route, they keep coming back as well. That's also rather unfortunate. Every time I think, oh, good, they're routing, like now, they'll be back. 
Those damn pricks always come back. Look at this, I got 56 temple wards. Oh, that's good. So I think that's the general. Alright, let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Let us keep at it. Kill as many as we can with this army. I mean, even if we win, it's going to be a very Pyrrhic victory. And I don't think a win is possible at this point. But, never say never. Yeah, those temple units are not going to break. And there's too many of them for us to kill. So, uh, that's a fever dream right there. Did I say fever dream? I meant a pipe dream. <laughs> it's also a fever dream if I ever considered that I could win this. That's just not happening. Don't get caught by the halberds. Run, 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 run. Cab is king, but... It can't win this. It's not that... Legendary, unfortunately. Oh, jolly. They got troops coming in, actually. That's a real treat. They're sending over temple wards to deal with my arch as well. That's problematic to the umtieth degree. Not a bad thing per se that they're going after my because then they're going one by one. So I might still turn this into a win, but a win where I lose pretty much my entire army. At least the Doomstack will be gone. I just need to make sure that I win so they don't like heal half that army out of nowhere again. Alright, if they send in the temple wards after me, I will deal with them. Or I'll die trying. Probably the latter. Just wish my reinforcements weren't broke and I could actually use them. There we go. Good charge. Not good enough. Oh, more Alberts. Alberts just also seem to have better morale than literally everyone else. They don't break that easily. Come on, shaken. Now stir them up. Come on! Nah, yeah, not gonna break. My calves on his last legs. Right, they're routing, but I need to shoot the temple wards. Oh, now they're coming. They're coming in so delayed, like, I don't get it. Yeah, they're gone. Everyone's gone on this side. I could really use some of these troops. Like, I know it's not much, but I could really, 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 really use them. Alright, shoot the temple wards. I'm gonna have to resort to some skirmish tactics. Because my chin, ch ch chin changers, skin changers, apparently alone, cannot win against temple wards. But now I get reinforcements coming in. There's something very strange about those guys. I'm gonna have to send in my skin changers though. As much as it scares me, I don't have a choice. But look, these arrows do nothing. They remain unimpressed, but here come the bear lads. Coming from across the hill. So let's stop firing now. So as to avoid friendly fire. Surely we should be able to beat them like that if it's just 1v1. I ah, see, they got more, but they're routing. They're routing. So they got some temple wards coming in over there. Let's go kill them. Okay, that seems to be working quite a bit better. So either they're just better or my skin changers. They're not as surrounded as they were before, I suppose. Alright, I didn't want you to go in melee like that, but whatever. Okay, so Temple Wards, then some Temple Marksmen, and some Halberds. I think we're going to win this. So at least we'll clean up the army, get some reinforcements back. Um, but yeah, that other army is gone entirely. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's, I mean, it is what it is. That was the army I was supposed to take Baradur with. Yeah, that is not happening. Alright, 
shoot them. Do as much damage as you can. Try to split up. <sighs> okay. Every arrow has a chance to kill. So we just need to roll the dice a million times. And we'll get there. Now this guy actually beat those, skin, uh, those temple wards without too much trouble. Like it was okay. Come on, just keep peppering them. Damn assholes. Selling the extra hatches. And at least my general survived. Like, that's a pretty huge deal, all in all. Considering how badly we lost that first engagement, it could have gone a lot worse. Look, I don't think they've lost anyone yet to all my arrows. Oh, they lost one now. They don't even have multiple hit points, <laughs> so it's not like we're making progress. We just can't pierce that armor. So I'm gonna have to charge him in again, but these skin chains are probably a bit battered up now because they've already taken... They've probably lost some hit points already. Now oh, there we go, 47. The point blank <laughs> archer fire like crazy. Okay. Careful about the friendly fire. Switch targets. I'm gonna send you in in melee just to like support the skin changers. And you guys switch targets to avoid friendly fire. Let the skin changers deal with the temple wards. Careful about friendly fire. You kicked my general on his ass. Could you not do that? Unless you were trying to like push him out the way for a friendly archer. That could be the case. Oh, we got some cav. The four privateer calves are here. From such tidings, there's victory hey, someone is still swinging. And I'm not talking about Miss Izzy. She better not. Uh, my general is looking healthy. As healthy as a man could look, facing temple wards head on. Maybe they're a bit miffed that I took their temple, and they're just wards at this point. I guess, I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Apologies, apologies. I didn't think you'd take it that personally, but hey, guess you're just no fun. Come on, your general's already dead or gone or whatever. Join him. And don't annoy me any further. Yeah, they're gonna fight to the last man, aren't they? Okay, good. Not entirely. Just surround those temple wards with as many men as you can. They can only kill one at a time. That's what we're banking on. using all my arrows. From all sides of angles. Got a couple more temple marks. I got a full regiment of temple marksmen coming in. Oh lordy. I definitely need you guys and you guys. Right, destroy those black hooded carpets. Point blank. Should be quite devastating. So many arches. Alright, chug javelins at them. Whatever works, man. Whatever works. Okay, there we go. Point blank javelin throw. Huzzah! Hey, that actually killed someone. Our temple marksmen are significantly less tanky as opposed to the temple wards, so at least that's something. But now it really is just a matter of making sure that everyone just goes after these damn temple marks. Gosh. What a mess. Don't get to run, mate. If we continue like this, we will smash the <laughs> The hammer and anvil charge from 
Possibly the worst cav unit this regiment has ever seen. The single rider! Gleowine reincarnated! Completely whiffs the charge. He shall not perish. He shall take down all these temple marchmen with him. Stop running! Bob has an unsettled score with you all. Are they trying to actually like get away? If we continue like this, we will Ain't no way for that, brother. I can't believe we actually somehow. Well, I mean, I say clutch. It's because of the reinforcements. But I'm happy I didn't let the AI command them, or this would have been. This would have been over in no time. Well, we better heal everyone, or I'm gonna be crying. We're not gonna heal everyone, but we better heal a lot. Is it over? Is it done? No, is that like one guy still standing or something? I don't know. Behold oh, there we go. Cowardly foe runs. <sighs> 52. This is a clear victory. 42. Uh, not ideal. I mean, the army is gone, but that's that's about all I could say. The Eothid Horseman, though, topping the charts. But uh, it seems we'll have to postpone our conquest of Baradur a bit longer. Earn it. Goodbye. Well, they're dead. We'll leave it at that. You get inside. Yes, my lord. You're all I mean, my lord. we still have some manpower left, so I'll just With park honor, him over there. We can go no further, my lord. But we'll have to wait for the extra reinforcements. God, it feels sad only having one army yes, left here. I'm so used to having Beragrim wondering about that as well. But I could possibly merge him with the troops from Urkestolad. Your Lord, yes, my Lord. Reinforcements are coming. Your Lord, yes, my Lord. And it will be enough to make a path for Falkred. Well, actually, uh, I really want to pull the troops out of Galabrin, but as long as we have a border here, that's not safe. Right, we'll do one more end turn, but I'm not going to do any more battles because I'm out of time. <laughs> but we'll see if they, uh, if they even try to pull off an attack, or if we can just wander about a bit. Ah, uh, I feel like, I don't know, I'm not quite pleased with how this episode went. I mean, it was fun, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun with it. But that last battle was, hmm, not great. Even though we won, I mean, we wiped that army, but... I don't think it was a good exchange. At least the fight against Lagrin was a great exchange, so... It's just Mordor is endless spam. Like, you, you cannot beat them down, you need to... I have massive respect for people that fight Mordor without using the One Ring, but go straight forward, you know, taking them head on. Anyway, this fight will have to wait for the next episode, the Battle of Bear Andros. We've been here before, uh, we're gonna win this because we have a catapult, but besides that, uh, everything else will have to wait for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope we can run it off in the next episode, becoming more insecure about it, because Falkred, he just keeps wandering on and on. It's gonna be, he still has quite a trek ahead of himself, so... We're not quite done yet, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys soon for episode number 36.